Dry bones shall rise again, dry bones shall rise again. Lord Jehovah is able to do all things. He's able, able, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again, dry bones shall rise again. Lord Jehovah is able to do all things. He say, Bo, e, bo, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise. Dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again. Lord Jehovah is able to do all things. He say, Bo, e, bo, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again. No, dry bones shall rise. Dry bones shall rise again. Lord Jehovah, you, you are able to do all things. He say, Bo, e, bo, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again. Look, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again. Lord Jehovah, you, you are able to do all things. He say, Bo, e, bo, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again, no dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again, dry bones shall rise again. Lord Jehovah, you, you are able to do all things. He say, Bo, e, bo, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again, no dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again, dry bones shall rise again. Lord Jehovah, you, you are able to do all things. He say, Bo, e, bo, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again, oh, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones will rise again, dry bones shall rise again. Lord Jehovah, you, you are able to do all things. He say, Bo, e, bo, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again, no oh, dry bones will rise again. Dry bones will rise again, dry bones shall rise again. Lord Jehovah, you, you are able to do all things. It's able, able, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones will rise again, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise again, dry bones shall rise again. Lord Jehovah, you, you are able to do all things. He's able, able, dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones we rise again, no oh, dry bones we rise again. Dry bones shall rise again. Lord Jehovah, you, you are able to do all things. He's able, able, dry bones shall rise again. Hallelujah, glory to God. This is Archbishop Stephen John Biokoro of the Jesus Christ Global Mission, our Miracles Radio and Television Ministries in the Rema Bible College of Bishops here in Maryland. We send you greetings and we love you. Jesus loves you too. God has been speaking to me about revival this year and uh, I tell you God is going to do great things. In the middle of the year, revive us again, O oh Lord. In the midst of the year, in the middle of the year, you know, the scriptures say, Revive us again, O oh Lord, in the midst of the year. Would I not revive us again? Says the psalmist, you know. And uh, God is calling for a revival, for a time for his people to pray and seek his face and uh, turn from their wicked ways and seek the Lord for answer prayers for the healing of our nation. For the reconciliation, for revival, for a renewal, you know, for reunion, for God to do new things. There have been so much great revivals in the Bible. You know, we talk about um, Acts chapter 2, when the believers prayed in the upper room, 120 believers in the upper room, they prayed until God sent a heavenly visitation in Acts chapter 2. The power of God came down, the Spirit of God came down, and People were saved, healed, delivered, blessed, and the, the, the work of God began to grow. And then also we learned about the uh, Azusa Street Revival of 1906. Uh, a man of God, Reverend William Semo, uh, led a group of Christians. They began to pray and uh, ask God for a heavenly visitation. 
until God unzipped the heavens and released a global revival that affected the whole globe in 1906. I, we're going to have such things again, and the Wales revival, and then the Brazil revival, then the, the Toronto, Canada revivals, and so many revivals that God has been doing, Kansas City, and so on and so forth. We pray for another heavenly visitation where the Holy Spirit takes over and begins to do things and people begin to seek God and people begin to pray and cry unto God for salvation and healing and deliverance and blessings upon their lives and for the nation to be healed. God said, I will heal your nation. I will heal this land. If my people shall come and pray and turn from their wicked ways, God said, He wants to heal this nation. But that wouldn't happen until we have come to the place of prayer. It is against this backdrop we have this week, starting from Thursday 11th through Sunday 14th. This week, you know, we have this uh, great revival coming, Holy Ghost anointed, miracle healing, deliverance revival services based on Ezekiel 37 from verses 1 to 10. Book of Ezekiel chapter 37, God told Ezekiel, he said, go and prophesy to this valley of dry bones. And Ezekiel went forth and prophesied the word of God. The Spirit of God came upon the valley of dry bones, and they began to live as an army of God's people. That is what we are praying for this time around. You know, some people, their lives are dead. Their ministries are dead. Their churches are dead. Their, their finances are dead. They are dead spiritually. Even in their prayer life, they, they have grown very cold. And God said, if you are not warm, you are not hot, neither warm nor cold. It should be hot for the Lord. That's what we're praying for. Uh, so this weekend, starting from uh, Thursday 11th through Sunday, the 14th of July 2013, right here at the Jesus Christ Global Mission, 850 Sligo Avenue, LS4, Silver Spring, Maryland, 2091. We have great men and women of God We're going to be praying and seeking the Lord's peace and hearing the word of God, hearing what God is saying to the nation. And uh, it's going to be a great time. Want to come with your friends and family, 7 p.m. to 9:30 p.m. daily. 7 p.m. to 9:30 p.m. daily on Saturday and Sunday. We're going to start as early as 5 p.m. so that those who want to come early can attend the first section, and then the final section, 7 o'clock to 9 p.m. Uh, it's going to be a great time. We want you to come with your friends and your families and children that they will come and know the truth, that the truth has set them free. It's a time for heavenly visitation. It's a time for divine visitation. It's a time for open heaven, for God to come down in our midst and demonstrate His power. We have great men and women of God who are ministering. We have the Apostle Mark King, all the way from Nigeria, great man of God, anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit, he has been preaching in so many nations and countries, and God confirmed his word with signs, wonders, and miracles. He is going to be with us, ministering alongside with Bishop Oko Nakwao and Bishop Elect Barry Mitchell Davis, Reverend Dr. Organica Rojesen, Reverend Dr. Christiana Pina, Reverend Dr. James Udondem, and several others will be ministering under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. God is going to do great things. The word of God is going to come forth. And everything that went dead in your life is going to come alive with prayers and healing and deliverance ministration. Whatever died in your life is going to come alive. That womb that couldn't bear children is going to come alive in the name of Jesus. Your finances that have gone cold, the spirit of God, the power of God is going to come upon it. And there's going to be a revival in every area of your life. Your marriage that is so cold, God is going to visit you in a mighty way. And there's going to be a renewal, a, a transformation of that marriage, that home and that family is going to be healed by the power of God. And your finances, your businesses, your jobs, your relationships, your families, God is sending his healing power into your life during this uh, four days of preaching and teaching and ministering and praying, I tell you, you'll never be the same again when you attend this meeting. God is doing a new thing. Come and receive all that God has for you. In the name of Jesus, Felita and I will welcome you to come and enjoy this meeting. It's going to be a great blessing for you. The anointing that destroys every yoke is going to be flowing 
and every yoke going to be destroyed because of the anointing in the name of Jesus. For more details, you can call area code 240-552-5899 or 202-460-7110. 202-460-7110. We are here for you to give you more details and more information about these meetings. Uh, the gates are open for everyone to come. From wherever you're coming from, you are welcome. Whether black or white, green or yellow, uh, whatever church you are coming from, whatever background or denomination, you are welcome to come and receive all that God has for you. In the name of Jesus, Jesus loves you and we love you too. That's why we're coming your way with this great meeting and these great men and women of God ministering under the anointing that destroys the yoke. You don't miss this opportunity. It's a great time. We are preparing you for the other half of the year. We, we have just passed one half of this year. Now we're moving into the second half. It's going to be a time of great visitation for you this second half of the year. That's why we're preparing you with this meeting that God will bless you abundantly. The anointing will flow into your life and every yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. In Jesus' name, feel free to email us our miracles tv at juno.com our miracles tv at juno.com lord send a revival lord send a revival lord send a revival and let it begin with me hallelujah lord send a revival Lord, send a revival, Lord, send a revival, and let it begin with me. 